Yep, it's back out again. Wild, wild, windy weather with some wild, windy, woolly people. Look, <laughs> look, look. He's hiding. Oh, he's, he's dead. dead. He's dead shy, isn't he? <laughs> and we've got Ant survived the night. Hey. Where's he going? Well, you know. I've been told yeah. not to mention certain words, <laughs> so I'm not going to do it. Yeah, you'll be censored. <laughs> we've got MCM Outdoors is up there. Hi, hi there. <laughs> so we're going up the road of doom, which I keep saying I hate, but I keep coming back to. And uh, yeah, it should be good, good camp. Looking forward to it. One or two eels, a little bit of chat, lots of wind, and uh, yeah, we're hoping we're going to get shelter, but who knows? We'll find out when we get up there. But for now, we've got this road to contend with. Steepest road in the world this. But look at the views. It is all about the views. Look at that. Nice. Right. Oh. We're at the top of the road of doom. You follow it up past the tin hut of terror which has been knacked that used to be a complete structure just make good photographs that yeah. and we're going to continue up there that's all feeling it 75 mile out wind here you're struggling easily might have to bail <laughs> Aye, that's it, that's it, I'm afraid. You can still get a picture of it though. Oh yeah, I might have been inside here. So. Here we are, the famous Dub's Hut. It looks a bit, uh, it looks knackered like. But this is where we're heading over here. Don't know if you can hear us in the wind. But we're knackered like, after a walk. Up there, actually all right now, it's all downhill now. So we'll go from here, down there, Cross the river. Oh, it's getting, uh, getting wild. Cross the river and then up. So here we are. Somebody stayed here 28th of January, so. It's all nice and tidy inside. Good. So we're heading off over that way, up through hills. It's a little rugged, rugged area, this. What was it Wainwright said? A hairy terrier amongst the load of sleek greyhounds. Haystacks. Aye. It's true. True story that. True. Right, so we're going to crack on. That view. It is windy. There's a pitch on there. There's a pitch there. Oh, yeah, There's a pitch right on the end of there. Look at that, man. Oh, almost like that. It's an ice water, doesn't it? Oh, God, I. Boosh. Boosh. It's like the old days when we used to go out. Oh. In crazy times. Right. Just take a breath. How are we feeling? Uh, all right, just about still alive. Confident. <laughs> I don't know. I've got some niggling doubts. It'll make a good video, man. If we get blown away too well, so we're going through through the back of this lump here. It's still quite a little way, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, we've just got a little bit walk. There's no hard bits. Minutes. Yeah, there's no hills. I think that's Black Beck Tarn there. See, with that's the balancing option, rock. Mate. Yeah. You see the balancing rock? Yeah. Wainwright's book says he's got a picture of it. It looks like an old woman with a headscarf on. Alter. It's mint. Aye, so it's like literally over the top of this. It's not far from Blackbeck. So we might come back to Blackbeck. We might even come back to the hut. 
just all depends if we get a sheltered spot for these two chris and aunt be all right we'll see bezies bezies forever let's get up here Cracky here. It's rough. Be careful where you put your feet. Bit of foul running. Whoa! Whoa! Get that view. Nice. <laughs> Somebody's let the dogs out. Who let the dogs out? And that's Fleetwith Pike over there. This is uh, Robinson. Robinson. Oh, the Heinzkoth. No, I think it's Robinson. And then you've got. All these over here. That's because they're doing lots of filming. That's good. Family's out walking in the hills. That's what you want to see. Uh, they won't see that, like. But you want to see. It's good to see families out, won't it? Hiking these hills. Wish I'd done that with my kids. It's got boots on as well. Good. My kids won't even entertain it, will you, Adam? I'll try to get Adam out. Not have it like. Oh, it's too cold. It's a jewelry man. Adam and Lewis will take them out. Up here. His aunt survived the night. Do you think he'll survive the neat? Well, I'm not too sure to be honest with you. <laughs> I want a bit of positivity. 50 50. It's 50-50 it is. A 50 mile an hour wins it won't be. Yeah, well, it would be alright. We'll survive the neat. It's just rugged, isn't it? I'm saying Andy, I'm saying there's a couple of Whew! Here we are, Inominate Tarn, final resting place of Alfred Wayne Reed. Scattered his ashes late, they didn't bury him. Come here. rats here, like. What are you saying? Come here. Why? It's absolutely rats. Tell me why. It's just buggy as hell. Come on. Did I hear that? Didn't believe that. that was this is where I pitched last time, here. Well, no, we both pitched over there. Make it here, like. Sorry, right, man. I'm not pitching here. We are, we are, man. There's ducks, look. More do you need? So, the decision was made that we uh, come away from Innominate Tarn because it was just absolutely sodden. The ground was really wet. Plus, there was that wind coming through as well. The ground was like. See, we're down right at the edge of the town here. That's what it was like on the pitch, the pitches. So we came here. This is called Blackbeck Town. I think it's actually bigger than the other one. Yeah. It's huge. Bad. It's massive ground right around there. All right, so that's Blackbeck Town. What we have here is Mr. Stoker's Old Faithful Asulu. One of the original red labels with the light green. Whoa. He's had that for about eight years. Look at it, it looks brand new. Nice and neat, nice big Alp kit sleeping bag, still a big puffy bag. Hey, I'm tell you, get good gear, you make it last. Here he is, look, himself. Hi. It's him. She's that, making some nudes. Him that I was just talking about. I don't know whether I put that in too late, I think it was hot. Aye. Never mind. So you're just cooking up some noodles, eh? Nice, good. 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 I like noodles. I'm going to have a cup of tea in a minute. Oh, I'm pitched here. Um, in the black level so I mean look at the difference the colour of the fly sheet dark it's like almost black aren't they? they all used to be like that though didn't they? Uh -huh. so that's how you can tell the original one I've got um, a few beers some eggs in there four eggs in the box don't know how they made it up here 
Oh, I've got the Quasar sleeping bag again. I'm going to try that out. Again, it's not as cold tonight, so not such a big test, right? We've got Chris up here in the MSR Access. What is it, Access 1 or 2? 1. 1? Yeah. It's ideal for one person. I just don't know about the uh, season ranking because it says it's four season and it could be like American version of four season which they don't get the winds through the air but mate look at the head height you'll see in a bit you know you can tell. sitting up here mate there's loads of headroom yeah. that's right it's all right looks nice looks like nice and nice big vestibule see it, mate? Was it camouflaged on, on the camera? it took us a while to find it yeah but I did eventually find it nice big vestibule is it like that? Is it like that when you shut the door as well? No, no, so, it's tight, it's up. Uh, mm, nice. Yeah. I like it. I like it. It's sturdy as well, isn't it? Or is it? Yeah. That ah, feels all right, aye. Well, yeah. Mine's got enough guy lines on it. <laughs> <laughs> more. more guy lines. Right. Good see and survive the night, right? He's odd because he's in the wind. He's deliberately pitched away from us because he doesn't like us. Did you say hard or stupid? Hard. Hard as nails. In his OEX Bobcat. Yeah. Bring out the Bobcat. For destruction, well, I don't think it will destruct. It's well, actually be, not too bad here. To be honest with you, a lot of people say, why do you want to destroy you here? But my point, what I like about my channel is that I like taking things to, to the max. You know what I mean? And right. I think this has been very close to the max. I just need some seriously strong wind but fortunately I tan. would aye oh. up so, there what, aye. Do you, what do you reckon Andy do you think we'll be getting some wind coming through here or what no I think this is it I think it's as bad as it's going to get we're sheltered by this I know it's trying it's blowing coming round but it's if, if that wasn't there we'd be getting hammered like yeah yeah but it's this it's this good big I think so, we're alright yeah I think we've cracked it shame really but I also did want to pitch for that view. Imagine waking up to that in the morning. Mm -hmm. So don't need to imagine don't it. Don't you worry. I will be over there with you guys. No, you're not allowed to come over there. No, you're not allowed over there. <laughs> this is the forbidden zone. <laughs> You've made your bed. You done. You best lie Whatever. in it. Whatever. Absolutely best... snow around it. You don't want that. Earplugs. Good point. I'm used to wee rab snores like a tractor him like. <laughs> Nice right, so there it is. Alright, good, good little perch that like, isn't yeah, it? They get some yeah. photographs as well. Yeah. Alright, good. Plan, pal. We've got ample water supply from running water. Try not to take it out of the tarn. Get the running water, even though it's the tarn water, but it's Man. running, you see. Yeah. Because if it stands stagnant, so, things tend to fester. Mm -hmm. Gather. We don't want that now. But yeah, that. that's the view I've got down the valley there. Look You're at that. Doing bad, are we? Fabulous. What's the time now? It's not even five o'clock yet. Fabulous. Absolutely amazing place. Don't know why I've never camped here before. I've been past it enough times. Oh, look at that. A great gable in the background there. And there's his tent there. Look, it can just barely make Chris's tent out there. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I am going to put the kettle on, have a nice cup of tea. Eesh. Here we are then, we're in the, uh... the work. oh yeah, I forgot I nearly went, oh well, there, this is it, this is the seated area, look, Jesus, that's bright. oh it is, <gasps> I had to uh, move that manually, I was the only one could move it, because I'm massive, I had to move that one as well, because I'm massive, Flamango. so, <laughs> are you enjoying your night, Mark Chebzut, whatever the hell you're called, it's right. it's good, Chris, are you enjoying the night, excellent, the night of doom flamango flamango right. hey what is this that's weird what is this, what is this you are wearing Dark. that's a nice coat yeah i'm breathing in hurry up it's, it's, right me breath out. it's a very nice coat <laughs> 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 oh, this, this goes to it's on the flamango oh. i'm on the uh table, i'm gonna go and get a, a nice uh, yeah. heathen or something nice table that we brought up so yeah, we're having a good time, having a good time. Yeah, we've got a good table. We carried that table up. Yeah. I brought, we brought a chair each. Yeah, we brought these rocks up. But I was the only one that could move that because I'm massive. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> right, here we go. It's time to uh, do the tea. We've got the power monkey. 
Oh, I call it the power monkey. I keep calling it that. <coughs> Actually, a ridge monkey. <laughs> a power monkey. I brought four eggs. Well packed in and they've survived the journey. So yes, I am a genie ass. I brought a pepper, red pepper, and some, let's have a look. Oh, smoked sausage, right? So I've chopped it, I've chopped it up, and I'm gonna fry this up. Fry this up first and then hoil the eggs in, right? So you got some oil? we'll come back, you don't need oil. You don't need oil? Ah, you don't need oil. So what I do is, bring it all in. Break yolks. It's not flat, is it? Not a great spot. Like this. Ah, it's not the greatest, but it'll work. It'll be all right. Let's get these yolks brock. Do you like portion that, mind? Aye. Large it, portion, yes. It is. So once it's like that, to that stage, yeah. You close the lid. And then let it go. Let it cook for a little let bit. Let it go. Let it sort of like bind, you know. Aye. Bind. Nice. I get these eggs. These eggshells. And then uh, you're going to tidy that up, aren't you? I've got a rubbish bag here. Nice. This is a top tip. Get yourself a roll of rubbish bags. I think that's it. Hey there. Hey I think that. that. Oh, man. It's nearly as bright as mine. <laughs> it's bad, isn't it? Oh. We'll just um, fill them in the. Omelette situation. Omelette of doom. I've just had the, the casserole out, it's four degrees. Wind chills like anywhere between like one and three. Yeah. Should be alright. That's that's what I would have said, like, you know. I got me pinky out and <laughs> felt it. <laughs> I did it. How's it looking? Looking mint. It's looking exactly how it should look. You're gonna flip that then, are you? No no. You'll see. Well, you flip the pan, you don't Flip it. Ah, that's what I mean. Aye, it'll, you'll see what happens. Uh, it'll just work its way out, will it? You'll be amazed. You will be amazed. Looking nice, that. Right, Absolutely. so we'll do that. Gorgeous. And then you. Here we go, here we go. Oh. Stress me out, that. Gorgeous. The thing is, it sticks. That's why you need oil. At the top. Bit of egg. Nice. Look really nice. So we have. Two world famous YouTubers here. <laughs> Where? Mark. <laughs> there he is. Even Otherwise known as all about, Stoker. All about the views. All about the views. So we'll head over to um, Mark and Andy's channel right after you've watched my video. Oh, don't go to mine. Why? <laughs> no there. There's no, <laughs> no, no on there for a year and a half. Well, he has actually stopped um, recording, which is a shame. You can knock that off for now. Do you know mate? No. I don't, I don't uh, YouTube anymore. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, he's actually. St how come you stopped recording anyway? Oh, I just lost the love for it. Yeah. Just so there we go. Here's the omelet. Omelet. Turn this light off. Right. Done. Done. Dusted. And what have I got to go on it? HP sauce. Houses of Parliament. Yes. Courtesy of Weatherspoons. Boosh. <laughs> so we're gonna get this down, and. Uh, Get back on with the beer. That's about it, really. Read. Oh. Nice. <sighs> so <coughs> we're all standing out because the wind is great. We've, we're professionals, so we yeah, are okay. sheltered. We're sheltered from the mad winds. <laughs> oh, having a good laugh, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Aren't we? <laughs> what a cock! <laughs> anyway, there's Ant. Survive the neat. <laughs> Have you survived the neat? Uh, so far, but. I'm not <laughs> I'm not too sure I'm going to survive this. <laughs> Have you survived the neat, Chris? Yeah. MCM out, dears. Right, oh, so anyway, what we've decided to do, right, we've decided to do some impressions. Because people love the impressions. So, who are you going to do? Neil Buchanan. Neil Buchanan. What the hell? <laughs> I don't remember him. Bro. Random. I don't remember him, yeah. Remember what, him. what you mean, yeah. just like... It would just be it, me. It's yeah. just going to be him talking. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to try it. Okay, so what you need, you get your black marker pen, you need a sheet of paper, a bit of glitter, you just draw a line across your paper. Isn't it a pee though? A straight line. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry
draw a line across your paper, sprinkle a bit of glitter, a oh, no, couple was, of circles, was and there we have it, our very own oh. collage. Ish, bish, leash. Right, come on. Get in it, face. You I do need, it. I need to think. You do an impression. I can ah. do impressions, but I need to think. Ah, ah, come on. You do an impression. Um, he criticizes. I'll do an impression. He can't do it himself. Can now then. Oh, that's a little bit of magic. <laughs> hey. Ooh, Debbie McGee. Oh, How <laughs> on oh, earth did I pull her? All right. So hi, hi. We're gonna um I've got me I've got me off one because you know when you're breathing cold air. We did we did well to come here like we sorted this because uh up the top there was really really windy and cold and horrible. So down here we We've done the right thing, we've got sheltered from the wind. So that's mint. Mint, mint. Mint. That's not, I really don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, so, yeah, that's it. That's it for the night time. I've got the buffer on because the cold air. It's the cold air. It's nice not breathing cold air. So everybody's gone to bed, it's 12 o'clock. And, uh, well, that's it. So, Mr. Stoker is over there. Oh, shit. Are you over there? Hi. Are you still there? Hi. 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 MCM Outdoors, Chris is over there, and Ant Survive the Night is over, further over there. So we're all quite spread out. But yeah, have a good night. It's been a good night. Enjoyed it. Here it comes. Oh, Jesus. The hell? They're fucking rocking me way. <laughs> right, I'm going to bed. Are you coming over to talk to the camera for two minutes? Nope. Bye, man. How are you? I'm on. Your fans will be cursing you. They can shove it. Hey. 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 Nothing to do with me, by the way. By the way, what a what a horrible man! Uh, All right, are you in? Well, I'm getting in. Ah, shut up, man. I'm getting in. N nobody cares anymore. Shut up, man. Nobody cares after your last disgraceful display. Oh. Right, so we've drank all the beer anyway, like I said, and we're getting in. Right, so. I'll see you tomorrow. We built the morning um, for a hidey high. I don't do that anymore. Hi just hi. a good, just a good morning. Uh, <sighs> right. We'll see you in the morning. Oh. I see your left. If you look in the lens, if you look in the lens with your left eye. What? That opens the gateway. Look in your lens with your left eye. I don't know if it works. Morning campers. Hi. How are you doing? How are you doing, did he say? He's up. I'm up. Looking rough. Keep the camera off me. You don't want to see that. Morning face. Aye, it was a strange night last night. We had a, a couple of beers, made some small talk. I think we we'll talked mainly about politics and um, quantum science, quantum physics. That's what we spoke about. And then we all went to bed at about eight o'clock. No alcohol, none. So it's looking a bit grim out here anyway. Great Gable is in that mist somewhere cloud whatever it whatever it is I'm expecting rain how did you sleep tip top well I mean the odd mishap oh yes but other than that decent like would I'm you like roasting. to would you like to tell us about these mishaps well, just, uh, hiccups and the uh, 
situation. The hard burnt ups. Oh, it was horrible. Nothing less. And that wind this morning was flipping. Ah, there's a few bad gusts. Isn't there? <laughs> really bad, eh? Just appear out of nowhere. Well, right. then that's spot on. Absolutely right. roasting. Good news. Right, so I filtered some water. Well, I've got some water to filter, I should say. I was wondering where I was going to get the water from at one point. Yeah, it's perfectly clear from here, isn't it? This bag, I, I was absolutely toasty warm in that last night. That is great. So comfortable as well. It didn't, it didn't spin around in there, so the zip doesn't end up on the other side. You don't get twisted up in it. Really good. I'm very impressed with it. I think I'll be using this a lot more. There's no feathers coming out. You know how you have loads of feathers? There's no feathers coming out. It's still puffed up. I like it. Really good. Very impressed. Yep. Ah. So I'm gonna get me. I'm gonna get me a little kettle on. And have a cup of tea. A cup of tea. So that's it. We'll see you on the, uh, the outro, maybe. It's a good spot this side. Here we are, go and have a nice cup of coffee. I didn't have tea. I forgot I had a cup of coffee. Here's the Chris. How are you doing, the Chris? Night. Did you, did night you survive the night? I survived the night. Uh, this? There's a bit, a few gusts, wasn't there? A few gusts oh, in the morning. It still is. Pretty strong. Other than that. Them gusts are horrible. Non-eventful. No acid reflux. No reflux. Just <laughs> urination. You're the only one didn't get reflux. We could urination. We're going to see if Ant. We're going to see if Ant survived the night. See if he survived. <sighs> Hello, Ant. Oh. Did you survive the night? To be honest with you, Andy. No. On this one. Burly. Oh. Literally burly. Now what happened? Well, I think Mark had the same problem. We were uh, around sick. Oh, with the old heart reflux. I don't know what the hell it was, mate. I had a little oh. bit of that, like to be honest. It's hanging on camera, guys, but I was like literally puking up in my mouth. Yeah. Three times nice. I did it before I decided to come out and try and nice. wake it up. But yeah, but nice and warm. Lovely evening. I'm not surprised you were warm. 400 quilts. I did survive the night. Get in. <laughs> was yours, I'm he, survived, you in a minute, anyway. he survived the night, lads and lasses. Aye, good. Right. Yeah, I was the same. Nice and warm in that um, Chinese sleeping bag. Yeah. Hey, it was mint. That's my new favourite bag. Well, there you go. No, aye, it was really warm. Minus, what did you say for a minus? Last night? No, uh, sleeping bag. Oh, uh, I didn't say. Mine's 10. I'd take that with a pinch of salt, though. Minus seven last time, the first time I used it, and I was, I felt a little bit of a chill on my legs. But it did, the, the rest of us was fine. So I think minus seven is its limit. I know. Oh, no. Right, here we go, we're off. Did you have a good night? Yes, wait. Um, he was there, I was here. Chris was there and survived the night. He did survive the night. Just. I right, just, this is just. So that's it. So if you come here, try not to have a fire. It's a popular spot. Got a nice little seating area here. People have had fires like, but you know, you really shouldn't. Look, there's a fire pit. Why do with that? Just have a, have your like fire up on the rock, you know, have it on the rocks. So this is it, nice little spot. There's a good space for about five or six tents. It's not perfectly flat, but it's all right, like. So that's it, we're off. We'll see you on the next one. Boosh.